Hello, I'm Charles Kaplan and I'm the webmaster of the chip guide. I recently did a webinar explaining how to do circle crops on casino chips. After the webinar, I did get a question on how do you crop an octagon chip to remove the shadow and the backgrounds that are in the corners of the chip. It's a great question and I'd like to show you how to do that now. I'm going to turn off my video uh, so we could concentrate on doing the uh, demonstration of how to do the octagon crop. And now I'll share my screen. And bring up my image editing program which is called Photoscape. It is a wonderful freeware program that you can use for cropping and image editing. So here is a submission to the chip guide of an octagon chip. And what I'm first going to do is make it a little bit smaller so it's <coughs> easier to work with. I do that by just doing a straight crop. And now it's bigger, and the first thing that I want to do is level it so that it's straight and level. And I do that with the rotate arbitrary um, slider. And I just move this, just slide this over until I get it level. And I do that by looking at the text and I have a great underline over here. I look around, it looks like it's pretty level at this point, so I hit OK. And now the first thing I want to do is a straight uh, rectangular crop. So I go over to the Crop tab, and I do the best I can to line up the points so they're on the edges of the octagon chip. and the top and now I look over here at the bottom and if the width and the height are the same size unfortunately they are in this case the both 569 pels then I hit crop and now I have a square um, uh, crop now you'll notice that you have shadows and background in the corners how do we remove them? And it's actually fairly simple to do. So the way to do that is to go back home, go to that rotate arbitrary uh, panel again. And this time, instead of level off, use the rotate tab. And what you want to do is rotate it 45 degrees. And when you rotate it 45 degrees, um, it's moved over one um, side, and you need to specify overflow method as white, and that removes it. So I click OK. Now what I have to do is rotate it back. So I go to Rotate Arbitrary, and I say I now want to rotate it minus 45 degrees. It's back. I hit OK, and there it's done. Very quick and simple, not too difficult. Removed all of the shadows and the background from an octagon chip. And that's it. This was very quick and simple. Uh, one last thing I want to do is I want to improve the colors. They look a little bit washed out, um, too much light. And I'm just restoring the lighting on that. That now looks pretty good. Maybe one more. There you go. That's perfect. Click OK click on save, and I'm done. So, simple and easy, that's how you do it, uh, to do a crop on a octagon chip and remove the background and the shadows in the corners. So, thank you.